Hi everybody, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator for the Xbox Series S, or this, this video could apply just as much to the Series X, and I guess the PC as well. So, in this video, we're going to look at how you can save your flight plans um, for future access. So, first off, let's create a simple flight plan, um, and then I'll show you how to save it, and the difference between the types of flight plan you can save. So, let's say I want to take off at Goodwood. So just select the point of interest, set as departure, and then I want to land at Shoreham. So let's select that and set as arrival. Okay, zoom in. You have to forgive me, I'm kind of doing this on my phone. So you can just about see the line going between Goodwood and Shoreham. Okay, so, so that's my flight plan. And flight plans, can be very complicated. So if you look in the um, uh, bottom of the screen, it says, oops, let me, right there, it says load save. Now if you don't say, if you don't see that, you press the little button on your Xbox controller, it's that button there. Uh, sometimes it, at the, down at the bottom of the menu it will say more. You, you tap that and then it'll, it'll then, um, that will then appear and you tap it again, right? And then it will come up with this little thing that says load or save flight files. You can save flightfiles.flt and flightpans.pln. Note that PLN files will only be saved if you had a valid flight plan. You can load flight files and flight plans at any time. Now at the moment on Xbox, you can't export or import flight plans. You've only got the ones that you're creating. Fingers crossed in the future, we'll be able to import and export them from other people. So what's the difference between a .flt flight plan and uh, a flight file, sorry, and a flight plan. Okay, so the flight plans, the .plns, just contain the navigational instructions. So flying, fly from here to here. Literally, what we're seeing on the screen um, in in the uh, in the world. The, the flight files, the .flt, also contains the aeroplane that you're in, um, the weather, all that sort of stuff as well. So so the flop, the files would be bigger, but it gives you a lot more stuff. So let's say you were um, you did a flight plan for for flying like a 747 from you know New York to Paris um, on you know through a hurricane or, or something like that. You would save that as a .flt. But say you were just wanted a route from Land's End to John O'Groats, um, flying over some point, points of interest um, in the UK, um, and you're going to try that with lots of different aircraft. You save it as a .pln because you just want the flight plan itself. So there we go. So then you load it, give it a name, uh, sorry, save it, give it a name, and then you can access it for future. And that, my friend, is how you um, can load and save your routes in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have, hit the like button, subscribe once you're more of the same, and I'll see you again soon.